Still with time to get the ball away to Parsons. Abandoning. A couple of times he really hasn't got the length on those Gary Owens, but he chases well. But offside, says Wayne Barnes. Players not recruiting 10 in front of him. And Gloucester not hanging around to dwell on that. Getting the ball moving quickly as they have to now. And Patterson moving very quickly. Oh, look at Patterson go. He's flying along. He's getting Gloucester back in this match. That is what the replacement has done there. And there certainly is time. If Gloucester can come up with moments like that, it's still anybody's, as Patterson proves. And he will be the man to kick to. Wow, the twist in the tail. The kicking king reminds people of his early Scotland days when he was a maverick runner. What acceleration, just sliding over the mud. Bath just couldn't get to him. Once you turn a defence, of course, it's really hard to get the acceleration. He slips around, I think it's Lipman there, and then when Bath are turning and coming back, there's no way they're getting there. Byrne turned and didn't have the pace. Lee Mears there, can't get anywhere near Patterson, picks the front row on the outside. And then Byrne is always chasing a lost cause there. Great stuff there from Patterson. What a substitution from Dean Ryan. Yeah. And now Patterson. With the role that, quite frankly, nobody in World Rugby can match him in. OK. Not been 100% in the Premiership since he started playing for Gloucester. There's not a bad percentage now. Can he get the vital two points here? No. He's hit Wood, so that percentage drops a little bit again, and it could prove to be a vital miss, that. He got the try, though. Would have loved seven points, not five. Bath defence torn to pieces because Patterson was able to pick the front rower, and you get behind the defence and you are going to score. But that's an important miss from Patterson because he may get a couple of penalty chances yet, and there won't be too many tries, one would imagine.